Welcome to this Excel stat short video on partial least squares regression. In this video, I will explain to you what PLS regression is. I will also demonstrate the use of partial least squares regression on a simple example. PLS regression is a regression method that takes into account both the structure of the explanatory and dependent variables. The model is linear, as can be seen in this equation. However, beta coefficients are found in a different way than in multiple linear regression. The principle of PLS regression is that the data tables x and y are decomposed into their latent structures in an iterative process. The latent structure corresponding to the most variation in y will be explained by a latent structure in X that describes this variation the best. In our example, we can find the vector U1, which represents the most variation in Y. We can then extract a vector T1 from X that explains this variation. It is important to note that it does not necessarily explain most of the variation in X. We can visualize the relationship between x and y by looking at the score plot between u1 and t1. The first results of the partial least squares regression are the model equation showing the beta coefficients that give the relationship between the x and y variables. There are also some visual results that facilitate the interpretation of the findings. First, the x latent factors represent the latent structure which explains the most variation in y. This is remarkably useful when dealing with signals such as spectra. Next, we get the correlation loading plot which displays the correlations between the x and y variables and the latent factors from x. This enables you to visualize the relationship between the variables such as their correlation. Then we get the score plot that presents the samples in the space of the x factors. This makes it very easy to find groupings of similar samples. Finally, the by plot combines the information of the loading and score plots so that the groups of observation can be explained by the position of the x variables. Let's exemplify this method by studying a data set gathering the information about six orange juices. The juices have been analyzed by chemical measurement and sensory analysis. The juices have also been graded by 96 consumers, and we want to understand the reasons behind the consumer's preference. We will then build a model with the juice characteristics as explanatory variables and each consumer's preference as the variables to explain. The model will be constituted of four latent factors. The explained variation will be 86% for y and 94% for x. In the correlation loading plot, we can easily visualize the relationship between the x variables, such as acidity and citric acid, and the bitterness. It is also possible to understand why a certain type of consumer prefers some juices. For example, Judge 85 likes acidic and bitter juices, while Judge 84 likes sweet juices. In the score plot, we can visualize juices that are similar, such as Juice 3 and Juice 1, which are sold in Tetra Pak, or the fresh juices, Juice 4 and Juice 5. Then the biplot explains that the similarity among the long-life juices is due to acidity and bitterness, and the fresh juices show strong smell intensity and are sweeter. Finally, we get the model equations which are the reasons of preference for each judge. The advantage of partial least squares regression is that PLS deals with multicollinearity. Moreover, it allows taking into account the data structure in both X and Y tables. It also provides great visual results that will help you in the interpretation of your data. Last but not least, PLS can model several response variables at the same time, taking into account their structure.